Welcome to Symantec's tutorial videos. Today we will be demonstrating how to install an EV code signing certificate. Before we begin, please note the following requirements for installing an EV code signing certificate. Next, the drivers for the SafeNet USB token must be installed to your computer prior to installing the EV code signing certificate. Do this now if you have not yet done so. Also, prior to installation, the physical USB token must be in your possession. If you have any questions as to the shipment status of your USB token, please contact the order processing support team. Once these prerequisites have been met, Let's go ahead and prepare the USB token for use. First, plug in the USB token you have received from Symantec to your computer. A prompt window to change the default token password will appear. The following will be the default password. Then, enter and confirm a new password for the USB token. Note that this password will be needed any time the USB token is in use. Before you begin the installation of the certificate, ensure once more that the USB token is plugged into your computer. Then, Open the email from which you were issued the certificate and click on the pickup URL link. Make sure that the link opens in an Internet Explorer web browser. The confirmation window to perform a digital certificate operation will appear. Click yes to perform this operation. You will now be asked to enter a PIN and a password. Enter them here and click the Generate Key button to continue. The PIN can be found directly from the approval email. The password now being asked would have been created during the purchasing and enrollment of the certificate. Click Generate Key to begin the installation. A prompt window will appear for the USB token's password. Enter the password which was created back in Step 1 when preparing the USB token and click Continue. Another digital certificate operation window will appear again. Click Yes to agree and to complete the installation of the EV code signing certificate to the USB token. Let's verify that the installation of the EV code signing certificate was a success. To do so, let's first click the start button. All programs, SafeNet, SafeNet Authentication Client, and click SafeNet Authentication Client Tools. Next, Click the cogwheel icon here in the top menu area for the advanced view. Expand user certificates and click on your certificate. Here you want to confirm that both the certificate data and the private key data are present. It is essential that the EV code signing certificate have both the certificate data as the public key and the private key data in order to successfully sign files. Thank you for watching Semantics video tutorials. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our other videos as they are published. For further troubleshooting support, please visit our support pages at semantic.com forward slash help.